along with Tommy Frazier and Johnny Rogers. I'm your host, Anna Bellinghausen. Guys, deep breath before the show. 45-7 loss uh-huh. against Michigan, and of course, the number two team in the country. I want both your gut reactions. It was a slaughter. It was it was the big boy saying, hey, this is what we do. We're going to do it. Now, see, see if you can stop us. And they proved that Nebraska, you just couldn't stop them. They proved they could do whatever they want to do. And we knew going in the game that Michigan was going to run the football. We already knew that. But I didn't think they was going to run it up or down the field the way they did. I thought Nebraska was going to slow them down. But they ran the ball at will all day. Well, I don't mind them running it, but we couldn't run it either. You know, we got hit time and time again and never hit back. We just did, we, we, we took it and never dished it out. I mean, at home. You know, and at your home, people come to your house and get you. That never happened in, in, in our neighborhood. They can't. You can go to their neighborhood and get beat, but you can't come to our neighborhood and just manhandle us like that. And don't just clearly don't put up really a fight collectively. Collectively, how do you how do you how do you decide that you even do that? So you have to play with tenacity. Somebody got to show up and act like they mm-hmm. really want to win today to set that standard for the next guy to come along. Somebody's got to get it started. Everybody can't be scared to to get it started. But I didn't see nobody step up to really try to play with intensity to show that you know mm-hmm. they was really it was in it. You can't do us like this, and you know we're not taking it. And that was on both sides of the ball, you know. You know I think a the, team. I'm talking about the team. And, and yeah. I, think, I think the key. Well, I think the key was that up front, the offense on defensive line, they couldn't do anything. It's they always up front. They couldn't do anything, and that and that was telling to me when the game first started. Like, oh, this is gonna be a long day. I hope people don't think that Nebraska got a chance, mm-hmm. especially after the first drive. Michigan just went down and, and, and just ran the football. I think they threw maybe one pass on that drive, and then and well, next, next series the off defense get out. The offense get out there. They pick it off. All right. Well, like I said, teams, in my estimation, have plays they know they can run. They know they're going to get three, four, five yards out all the time. Where is our three, four yards all the time? We should have plays that we can get, that we can walk down the field to. Three yards here, four yards here, a couple here. I, I can't imagine you can't get three, four yards. You know, when you, when you need to, off tackle, it's, it's almost a must. How, how can you stop them continuously? Uh, or four-yard pads, a flick, or a pick, or down and out. Quick out, down and out and up. Right. I, mean, I mean, but we, you see nothing. How, how do you not have nothing? And the key, is that just the players? And the key for me, what is their base offense? You know, that's the, the base offense is something <laughs> they should be good at no matter who they face, no matter what, the, what, what, what players out there they're going against. They should be able to execute that at will. Well, and, say, and, well, and this week, they couldn't do it. And it, it all started up front. On both sides well, of the ball. Well, it's always and, up. And, everything, the whole thing, it's what's up front so, that so, For me, it didn't matter what, what we had on the perimeter. If you can't block the, the, the four-down guy lineman or move the guys off the ball or stop them from coming in, you don't, you don't have anything well, offensive or defensively. I don't know if you say that if you won't, if you can't. Or you, you I don't can't, think they could. If you want. I don't think they could have. Well, when you decide you can't, you can't. But, you know, I, I think that they <laughs> – where's our double teams? Don't we have a double team? We can't do a trap? We can't well, run a trap? Well, when you, when you got a guy splitting two linemen because he's, he's playing with more effort, we he's need playing to put with more two quickness, on it. then it's hard. It's hard to, to block a guy. And I'm just saying, Michigan, they have a defensive line. They're one of the better defensive linemen in the country. In the country. And you're going to see them not just against Nebraska, but maybe against Ohio State, maybe against the other team they play. They're, a lot of teams not going to run against them. You know what? You have to be Michigan. I firm believe you got to get some of them front game and play action off of it. Well, yeah, some people are not going to do something, but they're going to have their basic their basic offense that they're going to run. Yeah, no question. And you're going. You can't stop you. That's what we work all summer on our mm-hmm. basic offense that we can run, and we have to be able to do that. And if we can't do that this week. I don't know. I'm convinced we can do it next week. I think we can because I think the talent level of each team is different. You know, uh, Illinois, Illinois is definitely not Michigan. Well, I haven't seen our offense step up that, that big anyway. Well, that's what the that, defense, that, the defense, the defense, the defense have been solid and, this is, and consistent and this all, is the, all the time. And this is the week I think this is going to be a telling game to see what type of team Nebraska truly is. Because no one expected for them to beat Michigan. I, I thought we had no. a chance, but I didn't expect for them to beat them. Now I wouldn't expect for the score to be 45-7 to either. I, fear, I expected for them to see this is the biggest opportunity they could ever have to, to make a statement right now. And they got people, human beings just like us, and we, we can figure this out. If everybody plays above where you can, above, 
put in a little bit more that we could probably get this done. Are y'all ready? They weren't ready. Mm-mm. Well, they didn't. They didn't they have that talk. They, no, they, 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 they didn't have that talk. And I, I'm a firm believer. Once Michigan came out and hit him in the mouth to start the game out, the, it was like it put a lot oh, of doubt in the Mike head. Tyson can, 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 can we yeah. do it? You once hit him. You, you hit him. Hit him, hit him <laughs> you, you, once you get hit, you better hit him. <laughs> was it a lack of effort or just a gap of talent in I, this game? I think it's a gap of talent. I don't think it was lack of effort. I think the, the basketball the players went out and tried their hard. But I just, just, just think that the difference in talent level right now between these two teams, you, you saw it. I mean, it's it's there. It's, it's obvious there's, there's a different level of talent between what Michigan has and what Nebraska has right now. Well, I think it's effort because, like I said, at least I can see you trying with intensity. Uh, at least I can see you really running hard to the ball. I mean, there, there are different things that you can do with their intentions that I don't really didn't see happen. They were just hap, hap, lap, gabbing it around uh, and just taking it as it came. Yeah. I didn't see nobody really putting up full fourth effort on really trying to get their job done. And that's, that's what you really have to have. Uh, quarterback, quarterback, I feel he did a pretty good job. He, he hung in there, but without a line, what can you do? And, and I'll tell, I told someone this this week, this weekend. After the game, if Michigan played Nebraska nine more times, Michigan beat Nebraska nine more times. And it has nothing to do with effort. It just Michigan is just that much better team than Nebraska is right now. They have they have the coaching staff in place. They have a system. I mean, it's a well-oiled machine. I mean, they even kept it going when Harbaugh missed those three games. You know, they didn't put up. They they, they weren't impressive, but they really didn't miss a beat. Well, we're not gonna get it fixed in a, in a week then if we're if we're. If, it's, if we got if we that bad, off. I, I don't think I don't think it's that bad as as, as people as, as you think it is. I'm just saying Michigan is just a, at another level. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why they're number two in Nebraska is where they are now. Illinois, you really talk about Illinois. Illinois, they're not the the barn, but they're not they're not Michigan. Well, uh, they just lost t- to Purdue 44 I would, 14. I, I can accept a loss anytime. It's almost just how you play. How how you lose? I mean, it's it's not not that you do lose because you know you're not going to be the best all the time. Somebody's going to figure out how to get you around, but it's how you do it. You know, what is the real effort you're putting in? It? Because if that becomes a habit, that can that can be that way with everybody. I don't think that I don't, I don't think there's a habit. I just think that <laughs> Michigan came out and hit him in the mouth early, and they never recovered from it. Well, and, yeah. I, and offense, I think once they turned the ball over in their first series. And Michigan goes go down and goes up two scores. I really think that that kind of threw everything off kilter for the offense because now they, now they're in catch up mode, knowing that Michigan they're gonna run the ball. So we now we got to figure out stuff to score quick. Well, the Big Ten is forming up now in the coming years, Tommy. That's the way it's gonna always be. We're gonna have tough teams coming, and they're coming at us all the time. And I think and, and, all the time. And, and if we're and, not if we're not gonna be established that we're that we can stop the big boys or we won the big boys, then we're gonna get pushed around. For years, but here's the thing: everyone's getting better. You got you got to hope that Nebraska's getting better too, and that, that's the key. Like like I said, well, I don't want to sit here and judge this team off of five games, you know, with the fifth game being the number two team in the country because it's unfair to them. But what it showed me and showed people how much farther ahead Michigan is from where Nebraska is. Matt Rule walked into some garbage. Let's be frank. He walked into it wasn't this this this, this program hmm. wasn't where people thought it was because if it was he wouldn't be here. Remember, Ross would have won a lot more games than what they've won over the past 15 years. So now it's time for him. He sees what he has now, and I'm thinking in his, in his press conference, say now you're gonna see the makeup of what, what this team is really made up of this coming week because he knows yeah. that there's an opportunity there that hey this team is not Michigan. We're a good football team. Now let's go out and show people what we really are. Well, if, if I remember correctly, we have some experienced players. We've had some guys that have been there for juniors and to come up seniors uh, that that that's been around a while. Uh, we brought in some more guys. We went in Portal, got a few little things that we thought that, that we needed. Um, I, I think we should be able to always do make an, a serious effort that you could be able to see that we can compete, not win all the time, but compete. We cannot just get blown off the map, no time. But we don't have to win all the time. I just think I just think that's <laughs> what everybody wants to see. But every now and then you're gonna face that team that's like, hey, well, they yeah. they better than us, and we just have to keep, take our heads off. Hey, we tried our best. They they better than us. Let's move on. Because there's times when Nebraska did that to teams. When we went in, went in and blew them out, blew teams out. Those teams then say, well, we got to stop. We got to move to the next game. <laughs> it's just one game. And so Illinois is going to be – it's going to show me 
how well this team is if this team is really ready to move so to the next level. So where do you rate Illinois? How, how good of a team does Illinois have? Illinois is right there with Nebraska. The Illinois is no better than Nebraska. They, oh, so we've got two bad teams playing. Yeah, so the best. <laughs> oh, okay, well, 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 I got you. Well, well, is it, well, well, I think, I think it's going to be a real good game. <laughs> but when you, but when you, but when you, but you're joking, but when you look at Nebraska's schedule, there's, there's maybe only one team on their schedule where you can say, yes, this team has better talent than Nebraska. That's Everybody, Michigan. And that's Michigan. That's, mm-hmm. that's Michigan. Everybody else is about right there. Now it depends on, okay, which team is better coach? Which players go out and play the hard? Which girl team go out and performs? And I think Michigan, I think Illinois proved, showed me what they were last week versus Purdue. Well, I still think that we have enough games left for and those teams' opponents coming that we still can manage to get to the bowl. Yeah, and, that, and, that's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's the and we got goal. Four, we got four more wins that we'd be able to pull out if we get ourselves together. But we cannot perform like this to de- – Things like this, in my mind, can hold you back just because it happened. I don't think I don't think this team <laughs> yeah. will. I just think this was one of those games to where, hey, it happened. Things happened. They came in here. They hit us in the mouth. We didn't fight back. Let's move on. Let's put it behind. Let's move on. We have Illinois coming up. The next two games, Northwest Purdue on, at home. If we can win those three games, we're at five wins. Now we got something cooking. If we win two of those games, now we're four. With, I mean, so there's a lot of things that can happen. So Michigan, hey, it happened. It's not, it's not the end of the season. Well, I'm into making them happen. You know, I'm all about it now. I hope that you get out and make it happen. Uh, like I said, if they make it happen, we get to a bowl, everything's great. But we you got to it, – it's, to me, it's attitude. So it's, for, it's you, for, you attitude. for you, it's bowl of us. For you, it's bowl of us. If they go five and seven, then, then it's... Well, well, again, again, it's attitude. How, oh, how, well, does, it, but, how does it happen? No, but I'm asking you, if how they go five happen? and seven, then it, it, to you, it's not a successful season. If we don't, it, and not able to get a bowl, then I, I don't think, that, but because of our schedule, you know, because that we have a, a, ser- a schedule that is winnable, that they have people out there just like us, no matter who who wants it the most. There's there are several teams coming up. They ain't no better than we are. I'm, it's, I, just, I, it's just who wants it the most. No, I'm, I'm with and you. So, but I'm just asking you. Yeah, it's yeah. five seven no, considering that success I, I, season I, in year one. It's not year one. It's his year one. That's what I'm asking. It's, no, it's, it's, no, so so for I, him, it's year one. I would like to go to a bowl game. Like I said, it's how we get there. I won't say it's not. It's just how because we could get. You know, things could happen differently. I can't. I can't make a total judgment now. Now, but we need to make a statement and go to a bowl game. But if they don't, don't but, well, but, well, but I'm asking, if they don't, is this not? A, if they go five and seven, is it not a successful season? I don't know. It depends on how it happens. Okay, because because if they go we five, got a, if, we got a couple more games like this. No, but, but, but here's why. Here's why. Here's why I asked that question. Because if we say five and seven, his first year is not successful. Then why did we give Scott Frost and his coaches more time when they weren't five and seven? You know, so so I know it's I, not I, that we're not going to give him more time. But, 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 He's going to have more time, like they got more. They got contracts. But, but, but that's what, but what I'm saying is that. <laughs> but we his can't first be year, satisfied with mediocre. No one said no. We can't well, be content. Well, that word yeah. that, that word came when I'm out with Cowboy and Steve Peterson said that when he fired. We fire Frank Solich and say we're not going with mediocrity and look what happened since oh, he's done well, Frank, that. Yeah, but you know, Frank, so, Frank was winning. But, but, but what did, what did um, C. Peterson say? We're not going to submit to some I don't know what mediocrity. Uh, I That's really why I don't, don't use know. that word because since he did that, since he got rid of Frank, look what happened to the program. I understand, but that that was an idiot move, you know. Steve, we're if we're winning, we're winning. And, I mean, winning is winning. Like you said, just, you, it's just, not I'm how just, much I, you're I, winning. I say that word media. I, I, I don't. I threw that up because he ruined that for me. Because you fired a successful coach, winning coach, and then once you did that, now look where the program has gone since then. There's nothing. There's not has been many great things that happened to the program since then. Well, I don't know the people in charge what they're, what they're thinking or what they're doing or if they're trying. Mm. No one does, but I'm just saying. For, to me, yes, I want to see them go to the bowl game. I think they should go to the bowl. I think they will go to the bowl game. But if they go five and seven, it's a hell of a lot better than they went the last two or three years. And well, we, I, won, I, I, we won four last year, and so they went five as an improvement. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so they went five as an improvement. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, but, but it is an improvement, though. You know that. You know, All right, it you know, is an okay, improvement. Okay. I can't argue with the that. The standards have definitely changed. No, no. What everybody saying about Deion Sanders? You ever say, oh, he's won three more, two more games. They all won all last year, so he's done a heck of a job. Two more, two more wins. They won one. So, so why can no, no, that no, no, be no, good for no, him? No, 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 no. Dion just lost his last game, but no, it's how I'm, it's how he lost. I'm it. not See, saying they that. were on, they were on the comeback. I'm they, not they, saying they, that. They didn't take a hit in the jaw and just laid down. But what you're missing, they came, no, they came, no, they made a comeback. But John, what you're See? missing, they're praising him for winning three games when they only won one game last year, which I is real, an improvement. I really so did. all I'm saying is that if Matt Rule wins five games this year, but going to bowl game, is that an improvement from what they were? Uh, yes. Again, just like uh, he won, like I said, Tommy, it makes a difference how you lose. 
He just lost. It really, he still looked pretty good losing. They did make, they made a significant effort. They, 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 time just ran out. Doesn't matter. A loss is a loss. Well, that's what I'm saying. No, no, look, no. How did, how did it look versus no, Oregon? No, 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 How did it look versus Oregon? Our loss ain't no loss. This, this loss is a to different, me, to this me, is a beating. Well, well, well first <laughs> ain't of all, no loss. well, if you want, they, they uh, Oregon, Oregon beat Colorado about the same way Michigan beat Nebraska. What? Oregon beat Colorado two weeks ago. 42-6, to six, the same mm-hmm. way Michigan beat Nebraska, 45-7. Okay. You saw the difference in, in level and in, in coaching and talent. It didn't stop. What, what did the caller do now last week? Came back and fought back. Let's see how Nebraska responds to, to what happened to them. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. That's, that's all I'm saying. We're, we're gonna, I'm not going to say. I don't want people to think that because they lost to Michigan 45-7 that this, still, this football team is still not a good football team because they mm-hmm. are. Well, uh, we we still have to we and they still have to prove themselves. And then, uh, you know, exactly, they still they still have to make statements. But like I said, as a team, but again, it's the attitude. It's, it's the attitude. I don't see the intensity in the attitude. I'm not gonna base that. I'm not gonna say they don't they don't have the attitude based off this game here because prior to this game. Everyone's saying, well, they, they, the fight's still there. They have an attitude. They want to go out and do the just mistakes were, was costing them victories. Well, we still have had trouble with our offensive, in offensive line. Uh, we still haven't kicked the field goal, Harley. I mean, we, we got special teams problems. We still got issues uh, all along the way no, here. No question. Yep. Yeah, so we, we haven't really been able to say, what do we really do well? That, that's my biggest question is what is this team's identity? Has it been identified, and what do you do with that coming into Illinois? Yeah, what, what well, I don't, do? I don't, I don't, offense like that, I don't think they truly have an identity because they've had so many different starters out there. Mm-hmm. You know, you start with Jeff Sims, and he gets hurt, and he turns the ball over, then you get in, you go and hire him. Then your running back's his room is, is depleted. Well, you got a, got a, a, a backup wide receiver. Is number two guy now. Then you have a receiver, the top two receivers, one then make it to the fall camp, another one towards ACL in the beginning. This team is still, I think offense is still trying to figure out their identity because what they went, what well, they what went to the season we, with. Well, what are we trying to do? I Who do it, we want to be? I think they're still trying to figure it out. Oh, well. I think defensively know what they want to be because they, they, sure. you've seen it. But I think offense, with everything that's happened, all the injuries that's happened on offense to starters, I think they're still trying to figure out what players can do what. Well, we have to make a decision. When Kemp, when Kemp the fourth is your best receiver, though your go-to guy, a little small slot guy, I think that. And then they say you got trying to get him the ball fifteen to twenty times a game. To me, that is. Wow. Tommy, I'm insulted. I'm a little guy, and they gave me the ball fifteen at the time. <laughs> yeah, but but, but 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 this guy, but this kid is not you though. It's not you though. I don't think he's guy. a Heisman winner. <laughs> yeah, but he's not you though. He's not you though. I wasn't a Heisman winner then either. <laughs> About yeah. to be. But but, but but what I'm saying, he he shouldn't be their best player. Right now, it should be. A, I was disappointed that Anthony Grant they didn't just impound the ball to keep clock running, seeing how the game was going. That's what I was disappointed with. I know he fumbled, but you carry the ball enough, you're gonna fumble it. You catch the ball, you catch the ball enough, you're gonna drop something. Mm-hmm. That's just part of the game. But I think they should have force fed him when he saw, hey, wait a minute. Do you know what? how many turnovers Michigan had? None. None. No, why? Why? Because they're well or machine. They understand what 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 it takes to win football. That's games. what it takes. I mean, that, they didn't have any turnovers. What's the? we had what two? Hmm? Well, fumble, but it was recovered by the offense. But, it was covered but, by but, Nebraska. And then we had the interception in yep. the first series of the game. It just ball batted down. So still an interception, right? Did the defense? Did they the throw and defense called it? It's an interception. That's, yep. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so technically one turnover, but. Okay. Okay. Still. Well, they're, they're a good team. Yeah. They're a good team. And uh, I, I, like I said, I didn't really – I really expected that we would compete a lot better. I, I expect us to always compete a lot better. Mm-hmm. I, I want to, them to have the pride to always compete better. We're not, I don't expect you to win 100% of the games, but I want you not to embarrass yourself. You can't control your you effort. Know? You can control your effort. And the I, team I, effort. The and team and effort. I thought, I thought, Everybody I, has to be on it together. And I, and I thought maybe a couple players might but as a, as a unit – they uh, they got hit in the mouth early, and you could tell. Oh, this I don't want any parts of this, and that just it happens. How do you do that as a team, though? It, it, it happens. It's 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 a trickle down. Know. It's a trickle down effect. It, it, I mean, this is not going to be the first. This is not the first team that has happened to that. That happened to, and it's not going to be the last. You see that. You see it weekly when you're seeing scores getting out of six to sixty nine nothing or fifty two to three. Those are the same thing. They got hit in the mouth early, and they can they, hey, it's going to be one of those days. But <laughs> well, sometimes you, you, you get beat down. You get beat down, but I just want to I just want to see us fight back. And and this week and this week is going to be a telling telling tale. <laughs> <laughs> 
You laugh, but you, you laugh, but it's going to be one of those deals where I, I hope uh, it works out because you, Illinois is not Michigan. Is what I'm trying to say. And, we know that, and, and, and they and they can't respond knowing that and 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 fight and put them in effort. Then he's like, wait a minute, there's something going on here. But it's on the road. It's going to be a Friday night. You don't have to worry about fans. All up in the chain. Now you just you you and the well, coaches. Our fans don't hurt us. That that's a, a plus. But, it, 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 what, what I'm saying, you don't have all that drama, or all that all that, all the spec, all the, all the circus around you. Where with your home crowd, your family. And now you're on the road. You can kind of seclude them a little bit better. Now, hey, it's just us. It's us against everybody else. Well, if you think that's an advantage, I don't know. I never sometimes thought that to sometimes be an it is. Sometimes it you is. Know? I love playing on the road more than I live in, in, in the Memorial Stadium. It could, and that's, that's, nothing no, against, that's nothing against my our fans. Made me no difference. But I love Not playing on the road. All. I love playing on the road. Why? Because it was just us, I, us, 50, 66 guys, and all of them mm-hmm. against us, rooting against us. Yeah. Well, when I Matt played, Rule we, said the same thing, too, about that. When I played, we have damn near sometimes we have more people at the game than they did. Seriously. We did, too. We did, too. Oh, yeah. But when we went to Oklahoma, so it, we went to it, Colorado. It never, it never was no game that we didn't have our fans. I'm on. just saying sometimes playing, getting away, playing on the road, makes things well, a little like easier. Said, for to me, it just never made a difference. Whoever showed up just got it. I mean, serious. I didn't really care. It's 2023. We, we, didn't, we didn't really care. It's 2023. Well, it shouldn't he care either. They don't he, care, he, but he sometimes he, sometimes the guy just comes in and just, it just it hits you in the mouth, hits you again in the mouth, hmm. hits you again in the mouth. Hit you again in the mouth, and there's nothing you can do about it. No, there's nothing you would do about it. There's something you could do. No, about it. obviously, if you 45 7, there was nothing they could do about it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> they, tried, they tried everything they could. There was just nothing <laughs> they could do about it. One play call I do want to go back to, controversial in many people's minds, the fourth and one call from Shotgun. Uh, I wanted both of your opinions on that. I can't imagine we're doing a fourth and one from Shotgun. You know, from you got if you want to really, you got to get him right up there. You can hit our quarterback's big enough; he can fall a yard. You know that that how do you how do you call the play that you know we can fall a yard and now you got to run three or four yards and, and he gets get to the line of scrimmage, and uh, against a team like that, that's almost impossible. Well, I, I I thought it was I thought it was a, a, a trickle down effect for what happened in, early in the game when they went forward on fourth and one, when they could when they should have kicked the field goal and they went, and they got pushed back a yard. And so I thought maybe that that probably could say, well, we can't do anything. We can't run a quarterback sneak here, so let's try to do some fancy, some counter stuff like that. Now, me personally, mm-hmm. if fourth and one, I'm going for it. I'm getting up on the center. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm. But saying. I, but I honestly, like, I, mean, I don't don't hold me to this, but I guarantee that's but they saw that on that fourth down and early in the game when they should have kicked the field goal, and they lost a yard. Mm-hmm. Trying yeah, to do a Tommy, in practice, we practice that, uh, and we practice that, you, and we're gonna get that. And we talk to the center, we got the guard. You got this? Yeah, well, I got it. We, can but, you do this? But, yeah, we can do it. But who are I you mean, practicing it against when you're in practice? No, no, no. But you're agreeing to your, each other. I understand. We're going that. to get it done. I understand, but but sometimes you get bigger guys in front of you, strong guys in front of you. Well, you can't do. Well, it. if you miss it, then you try it again. But you don't mm-hmm. give up. Well, that's they felt they couldn't do it. <laughs> now I don't agree with them going to shotgun. Yeah, hey, get, that, made get up it, that, that made it harder. That made it harder. We get yeah. up on the eye, but that's yeah. but that's where college football has gone yeah, to today. Maybe the eye, the eye. Yeah, yeah but that's where college football has gone to today. To where coaches outthink themselves now because they think shotgun helps th- make things easier. When you when oh, you no. have when you have a small field, shotgun no, no, doesn't no. do anything but make things more complicated. Not up the middle. Yeah, <laughs> not up the middle. It's pretty congested up there. Mm-hmm. Also, short week for these guys. How do you reload quicker? Does that really matter that one day? Not really. Not because usually they usually get a day off anyway. So maybe they, they probably won't get a day off this week and just give them Saturday off. Or maybe they'll just lighten the practice practice load up. But one day is not going to make a big difference. They now, practiced yesterday, I think. Yeah. Yep. Not, not, not if it was, not if it was a Thursday game. You're talking about two now. That's about, It's a Friday game. It's one day earlier. Mm-hmm. Well, the other team, they got the same they got the, thing. They got, they got, they got the, same the same thing. thing so it's just everything's still even. We have um, no reason to be at the top of our game, wherever that is. We should be there, too. And, like, if we've got comparable teams, we could, should be able to practice and implement the things right, we want right. to and see the things that we really want to try to do yeah. and try to implement to do and think to make sure that we get this down and maybe define the identity of what we're going to do, what we're going to try to establish as, as our offense, uh, offensive approach. Our defense would probably bounce back. But I, I'm still yet to find. Are we dropping back? Are we? Are we option? Uh, or or, or what, what are we doing? And that's what I think they need to work on this week. What is our identity? What is our base offense? To where no matter what we do, 
that we can do. We can do this. And right. I, I still, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what is that base offense. Five yard out, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you can't or the, the swing pass. <laughs> I've seen the swing pass on my, my history yeah. of the football. I like I said, we had a 51 being that we yeah. ain't nowhere in the world. It was three, four yards every single time. Yeah. The, 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 every, the, I, I get killed, three, but three, with three, three four, four yards. Three to play, move the chains. Keep right. the ball. Move, you march down the field. That's what Michigan did. March right. down the field. March down the field. They didn't care. Cause we know we're gonna we're we gonna we're gonna we gonna put points on board. We're gonna march down the field. Oh, we're well, gonna throw a play action pass in there. We're gonna throw a play action pass in here. Well, they didn't do nothing special. They just no. were consistent. They're getting that three, four yard to carry, five yard to carry is what the average is. And if you get that, it's heaven. I also want to talk about Heinrich Harburg and his performance. We did talk about the interception, of course, it was a batted ball, so not necessarily a bad decision necessarily on him but what did you or how can you evaluate his performance given the circumstances it's hard to evaluate someone's performance when the the, the score is 45 7 right he, he had some good good passes here good pass there but he still only managed seven points and that was seven points at the, what the last two minutes of the game yep so nobody played well offensively if you only if you only can score seven points that's that's how i see it well, he didn't play good. He didn't play bad. He just played. There was nothing he could do. Like I said, it's a team sport. In fact, the team's not really getting it together to do the whole thing. It's very difficult for one to make a difference. Plus, he can't throw and catch it. <laughs> so, I mean, so mm -hmm. what can he do? He can hand it off, but the line's not blocking. Where are we going? And then you look at uh, defense. Defense, they play well, their worst game of the year. Look at special teams. They miss the another field team. goal. Yeah. Yeah. You're missing the field goals. I mean, so this whole, this whole game. We missed a, what, the 30-yard field goal? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was, it was about that. But I'm just saying, this whole game was just, like, doomed from the start. For sure. Mm. There was no point where I felt Nebraska was threatening Michigan. No. Whatsoever. No. One, one, not, not a single drive. Once once that second, once the, once the first drive, they threw the interception, the Michigan goes up 14-0. I was like, oh, this is going to be a long day. Because mm. this, Nebraska's not a team that can come back from 14 points right now. No. Agreed. Yeah, I think it really showed, obviously, the talent gap, but also where the two programs are. I mean, you look at Harbaugh and what he's done at Michigan. Mm -hmm. It didn't start all rainbows and butterflies for him there at Michigan, too. I mean, he had to build that program up as well. Not quite as to what Matt Rule's dealing with right now right. in Nebraska, but can you take anything away from this game if you're a Nebraska fan besides you, you hear everyone upset and whatnot. Maybe they're overreacting right now, but does this give you anything to take away in moving forward of a measuring stick maybe of Nebraska and saying, hey, this is where we are right now. We know what's wrong. Let's fix it. Move on. Don't measure versus Michigan. Measure versus everybody else that you play against. Mm -hmm. Because you sure, you sure as well, if you play Penn State this year, you're not going to beat Penn State. You sure it's not going to beat Ohio State. So yeah. you can't measure Nebraska to the top tier. Now you got to measure to where they are in that pack. Mm -hmm. And that's where you should see the difference if Nebraska's really improving based on what they do versus the pack. The top two, three teams in, in the conference, they have no chance. So you think fans maybe are overreacting yes, to I this think loss? They are. I think they are. Michigan's going to be a lot of, a lot of football teams. Like this, yeah, they're gonna dominate a lot of football teams, like this, you know. So I want, I want fans just to relax. Now, here's the time to start measuring what Nebraska truly is, because everybody they play against now, the games are winnable. They got a chance to beat these, to beat these teams. No team is that much superior than Nebraska that they're facing. Well, they got a chance to beat all the teams. Yeah, yeah, you know, all the teams, and that's the attitude that I'm, I'm talking about. Attitude that we can beat anybody. If we don't, we don't, but we can beat anybody. And we got we, we have to try uh, have a goal that we're going to try we're going to beat everybody and we can get to a bowl game. And the key, and like if, I said, who who can stop us? There's if, nobody that you can just say it like Michigan that can stop us from here on. Right. So and, and, well, what 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 should be the issue? And, and, so it shouldn't be no issue. We and, should get to Johnny, the bowl, and, and that should be that. And Johnny, if by if you say get to the bowl, the main thing Nebraska needs to do, don't lose another home game. They have four home games left. If they win every home game, they're six victories. All right, I go for that. But you don't, always got to you got to win the ones you're supposed I, I, to win, I, I, and you got to win some you're not supposed I, to win. I understand that, but they win every home game. That's they six win, wins. That's a bowl game. That's a bowl game. So just win every home game, and then go still a couple games on the road. Now, see, they're telling me you want them to go to the bowl too. I want. To, I, I do want to go to the bowl. <laughs> Who yeah, you don't watch five games. You I can did, see. Trust six. me, I, I, you I, can said, see six. I said six yeah. victories all year. <laughs> we have that on tape. We have it on tape. I said six victories all year. Well, that's all I said. 
All year. That's all. That's all, that's the commitment, and that's the commitment they should have. Yeah, right. and I think I think that's what I think. Coach and the staff have that commitment because I, I remember one time he's because we didn't come here not to go to bowl games. We want to give these student the student body the opportunity to experience what it's like to travel during the holiday season. So yeah, right, I think their goal base. is this year is to get to a bowl mm-hmm. game because when you get to a bowl game, now you get more practice time for the for the players, and which that's what they need is more practice time. Well, I, I would like the fans to get some action. They they want to get away. Yeah, they, they want to get, get away. Get them down fans. to Florida. Yeah, they yeah, well, I don't know if they go to Florida with six or six. They might go to New York. <laughs> Maybe Kentucky. <laughs> they're not going to Florida at six and six. <laughs> no, there's no holiday bowl down there for them. They have anything in Wichita? <laughs> yeah, we <we're> street for <laughs> But it's still a bowl game, though. It's, it's still a bowl, bowl game. They count though. the same. They count the same. soup bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it can be the cheese it bowl. Yeah. It can be the no, we get to a bowl. Duke's they, mail bowl, anything. Need, the players need a break and in a bowl. Say they got to it. The fans need it. The, yeah. the students need it. We all need it. To, and that's just the mark in my mind that said that we're going in the right direction. And that's all we got to do, be going in the right direction. Yeah. And, and I think that's all anyone wants right now. They don't expect for them to be top ten right now. Hey, let's get, oh, to, no. let, let's get to a bowl game well, at we're least. We're past that. We let's get to a bowl that. game. And yeah. once you get to a bowl game now, recruit star seeing, seeing you more. You, you, you're out there for, for that whole week that you're playing. And now you get more practice time. And now, like, recruits like, wait, man, this is going the right direction. Maybe How do you think recruiting is going now? I think it's going well. Oh, okay. I do. All right. Well, they but, see but, they see how this is happening. You know? I think it's going well because I think what recruits are seeing now, that I can go there and, and play right now. Or, well, or or the coaches are out here saying, this is what we really need, so this is what we're going to focus on. We're not going to just go five-star, four-star, five-star, five-star, five-star like guys do. We're going to get the guy that fit what we do best. Well, when I came up, they weren't winning either. And they just had the, in the mindset that if you did come and we did get these players, that we, we could win. You and know? I think, and, I, and they, weren't, they weren't winning. So we believed that that's what he would do and that's what we could do. But we really believed that. And I think that's what Matt is, I think that's what Coach Rule and his staff is going to do after this season. Let's go get together with yeah. the comments that are going to help us win football games now. Because they're still trying to figure out what guys can do. Because there was a lot of holdover from the yeah, last they were getting, Right, we he didn't clean here. the house. Yeah, I mean, it house. wasn't like right. Colorado where right. they just said get out. So. Right, so, so, so I yeah. think he's still trying to figure out what guys can you know, do. I don't, I don't think he – does he trust all the players? I don't know if he does. No, you can't. So so that so <laughs> now and so now what he's doing now is he's he's valuing players just like like, like anybody else. He say, okay, this we need to go ahead and find right here. Oh, Lam, we need to go get this right mm-hmm. here. Oh, we need to go get this right here. Do we have standout coaches or any coaches exceptionally doing well? That we see. Well, I know the defensive coaches; they got their stuff together. Uh, I think the running back. I think the running back room is doing. Coaches doing well. I'll, I'll go for that too. You know, I think. I really, I do think we really need. Really, how do we not see we need help up front all the time? Well, that's been some, know, all the time. <laughs> well, that's been something I've been saying for the last fifteen years. Mm-hmm. That uh, how, how do you not stop, do stop that? Stop all these skilled players. That's that's right. solidify the middle. On both sides of the ball. Michigan didn't need no skill players. No. <laughs> no, they weren't Not making the, the flashy plays. No. I mean, they got Blake Corum, but. Right. Well, but he wasn't making flashy he's, plays. Yeah, he's just going in and getting five yards every time. That's it. That's pretty flashy. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty flashy. You get but, five yards every time. But all the good teams in America have the, the linemen. Yeah. No, the winning teams. Which all the good. Even yeah. good teams yeah. have all the linemen. Like, like they might not be Alabama. Alabama's not very good this year, which is always, which is like the pinnacle of offensive linemen used to be. But look, Ohio State, Notre Dame, all oh, those yeah. teams, they, they, Duke, they have like offensive linemen. Like I said last week, Tommy, the offensive players, uh, linemen in the pros now are getting more money than the running backs. They're, they're more valuable. They, they see they're, they're more valuable, valuable to the program. Right. Right. You know, and so uh, clearly that's a, that's a everybody can see that's always been really I, the case. I, I've been saying that for for years now. How can we get all these skill players? Let's get, let's go get defense, offense, and defense and line. Let's mm-hmm. let's get that middle because you control a line, you can do anything you want. When I went to Montreal, the linemen were my best friends. You can do whatever. <laughs> I hope so. And, uh, but back then, and here back, too. You back know, then, you can buy my Sotonas back then, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are the cars at? Are you giving them cars too, Johnny? <laughs> Oh, no, they get their car. They got plenty of money. They got plenty of money. <laughs> they didn't need it. They get my ride. Oh, well, guys, we're going to preview the upcoming game against Illinois Thursday, 6 p.m. Yes, at Hurt I'll at be Sports Johnny, Bar. Johnny be out of town. Johnny's ditching oh, us yeah. this time. Yeah, but yeah. He, he got a grandbaby. Got grand, another grandkid. 
grandkid, grandkid yeah. coming away, so yeah. you got to get back one. money though. So I okay. Told about okay. We'll hold it down, Anna. We'll okay. hold the fort down, we'll hold of, it down, of course. I'll play the part of Johnny, and I'll just I'll just argue with just you. Just tell me now. No. Yeah, yeah. Or then then we'll just record it and just play it back. And then you got you got put a butt butt hole and butt hooker up, butt tight or whatever. Booty tight. That's what we're gonna say. He's a lot of tight booty out there. Squeaky tight this week. Measure with the club. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean some of those things up. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thursday, 6 p.m. We'll see you there. Heard at Sports Bar. All right. Every day is game day, y'all.